All right, we are back for the second annual Go Power Sports 180 mini bike race. This is a mini bike race that is 180 minutes out at the Go Power Sports Ranch, and it is grueling. It is nonstop action, adrenaline raging type of fun. So we're two days out, the weather is beautiful out here. We have everyone from all over the United States coming into the shop. We have cars and cameras, busted knuckles. We have mini bike misfits and our own race team fixing on the mini bikes right now. So let's go downstairs and see what they're up to. Track is done. Um, all we got left is get some bikes ready. We have a bunch of bikes to get ready. We've got a few guys coming in from out of town. It's gonna be a mad scramble today and tomorrow, getting everything ready. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I am I am in my natural my natural area right now. Yeah. Like, tangling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on man, let's go. I, I need a, I need an engine for my stage four, stage five, yeah, what you yeah. need. I, I need to tote the front wheel the whole race. <laughs> that was a good double That was good. I don't even really know this. <laughs> well we're gonna see some real ones. <laughs> I hope so. We're gonna have a mullet contest. Right yeah, sure, why not? You guys ready to start your adventure? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We got fresh up on Go Power Sports history. We're good to go. Uh, I feel I like that. Yeah. So, how was your guys' trip? Uh, eventful. Very, very eventful. No problem. Minor hiccups with the uh, with the vehicle that we drove, but it's okay. Uh, it, just, it just made us stronger, that's all. I am installing a head that we just worked on, uh, and it's on this, it's on the, uh, the Go Power Sports 225 race engine. We, the engine makes like 17 horsepower, which is plenty, but this, there's some stiff competition out here, so I feel like we needed a little bit more. What's your guys' strategy for the race? Um, it's a it's a marathon, not a drag race. Uh, this seemed to work last year. I'm kind of concerned with bike. Uh, you know, there's, there's, you can't win it on the first lap. I mean, I'm not saying anything nobody doesn't know. It, it'd be it'd be awesome to be out front the whole time, but it's really it doesn't matter if you're out front. It, it, it just matters how many laps you get in 180 minutes. So I guess if you are up front, maybe it does mean that you win. But I don't know. I don't know. You know, hey, if you're going to be up front for 180 minutes, I guarantee you at the end you might be dropping back. Because mm. it was uh, it was definitely intense last year, and I think the course is not harder, but different, like completely different from last year. So should be interesting. We were told that it's like last year was kind of a dirt bike track. This year seems to be more of like woods, trails, kind of uh, uh, weaving through the trees and stuff like that. So trail riding. So we're uh, doing some engine swaps and getting uh, new belts, converters, and basically going over the whole bike and uh, making sure it's race ready for this Saturday. It's a great time, a lot of cool people, um, a lot of competitive racing out there, it's, but it's a, it's a great time. From the videos and stuff that I've seen, uh, there's gonna be some very treacherous parts that I think you're gonna really have to uh, have some good riding skills. Um, this is where I think we're uh, MB200 with the full suspension bike would really come into play. You're really gonna have to be on your A game to uh, to make it through this track, I do believe. You're moving. Woo! Whooping on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're only that far okay. in the end here. If not, we're just gonna go ahead and take you to Goodwill, okay? <laughs> there you no, I told you. I'm glad you got that on camera. <laughs>
tow can make sure there's a ton of fuel going in there. Yeah. Okay. I like it, Paul. Better? One day out till race day and the weather has changed overnight. It is now a little drizzly. The temperature has definitely dropped. So now everyone is headed out to the Go Power Sports Ranch to set up their campsite, test out their mini bikes, and get their first taste of the track. Good morning. Junior, where are we at? What are we doing? We are at the Go Power Sports Ranch in Orn, Texas. And we are freezing. That's not too bad. It's a little windy. It's about 45 degrees and it's been drizzling, but it's clearing up. That was a wild ride. Riding with Redbeard, I mean, like, I still got the smile on my face. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm Jack. Uh, I'm with the Mini Bike Coalition. We came out here from uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Came out here for the Go Power Sports 180. I'm on the MB200 Trailmaster. Um, it's back over here in the corner. This trail is amazing. What they did out here, man, is like, it is, and there's some sketchy moments, um, but it's a lot of fun. It is amazing though. I haven't ridden anything like this and this is gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow. I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, hardest part tomorrow is gonna be some of those tight spots and tight corners um, with a lot of riders. Getting past people is gonna be a tough one. So uh, the, the faster you can get off the line, uh, the better because man, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be tough out there with all these riders. All right, guys, we've got Tim Yoakum, the owner of Go Power Sports, one of the two owners. He's a great guy. But we're out here at the Go Power Sports Ranch for the first time for the GPS 180. Uh, how did you decide that you wanted to do this at the ranch and not go rent another place? Actually, my uh, partner Dave and I kind of had the same thought. Why not just have it out at the ranch? So uh, we, we think we've laid out a real good track this year. And, uh, based on the smiles, uh, it's uh, it's going to be a good good race and uh, challenging. There's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of drop offs and stuff, so they need to be careful. And uh, of course, we're recommending eight inch tires or eight inch wheels and and suspension. But there's some hardtail stuff out here. <laughs> it's going to be rough. Good luck. <laughs> Nick Dennis in Shreveport, Louisiana, here with the uh, Go Power Sports. Bayou Daiquiri in Shreveport. If y'all ever in the area, come see us. Uh, man, we're just here to have fun on mini bikes. How are you doing, sir? What is your name? Where are you from? Uh, Michael from Indiana. Excellent. And uh, how long have you been shopping with Go Power Sports? Oh, about three months. Just so, three months? Yeah, I've seen uh, Red Beard and some cars and camera stuff, and I thought, oh, I'm going to build a mini bike. I was just, it looked like so much fun. That's so, awesome. Our first build. Alrighty, I'm from Tyler over here in Texas, East Texas. And then I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, we're just here to, we're ready for a shreddy. Like uh, uh, we went to the yeah. first one last year at the Tex Mix. Wow. Uh, so okay. we were just spectators there, and then we said we gotta get some bikes. So we went down to go. Power Sports got us some bikes. <laughs> Two of them. Um, my name is Bobby Hammond. I'm from Piedmont, Oklahoma. Oh man, that course is nuts. I got a partner coming. You're definitely gonna need a partner for this. Uh, I don't know, it might be him. I don't know. Gotcha. But. <laughs> I'm Brandon Armstrong. I'm up coming from San Antonio, Texas. Riding with uh, Weston Knuckles and Weston Fields. Well, this is, our, uh, this is our second time. He partnered up with me last year for the 180. And uh, so I called him up and he was uh, extremely excited. I was excited he wanted to take on the challenge because uh, this is a totally different track out here than it was last time. You're going to need to know your line for sure. Yes. Uh, steep inclines. Uh, Lots of places where it's got some drop-offs, so it's a uh, tons of fun though. Tons of fun. It's tons it's of a, fun. It's gonna be a, a fun challenge. It's a great time. Come out, and hang out with people. Uh, GPS puts on a great show. A lot of fun. We're gonna make the podium. That's the game plan for this year, and uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna give everybody a run for their money. All right, the big day is here. This is perfect race weather. 
everyone's raring to go. First up we have our junior races, and then we're off to our main event. Our name, Joseph Walgren, he's here racing today. Jeff Walgren's my name, the dad. We're from Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, this is our first race. Joseph, how rough is the track? Very rough, but it's fun. Our bike is an old Rupp frame that my dad, uh, who's now 88, but he built it for the grandkids. We had to make a few little modifications, but we had to make a, a, a heat shield there for the stock exhaust, just different little things. We had to extend the foot pegs, and we made this fun little, uh, Go Power Sports piston emblem right there. Just uh, in the middle of the junior race here, and the, my partner's son's in the junior race, and the uh, chains popped off. So we got it popped on. He's he's babying it around the track to get it over here so we can tighten it up so we can get him going again. We still got about 30 minutes, so we got plenty of time to get him back on the track and hopefully catch back up. Do you have an ungoverned engine, or a stage two kit, or any, any engine capable of 4,000 RPMs or greater? Then the Juggernaut is for you. Nine out of 10 doctors recommend the Juggernaut. Oh, and I can do the Copyright trademark, go power sports, go power sports. Thanks. And now it's time for our main event. I blow the siren, you get across, get your bike going, take off. If you if your bike breaks down or you go down or both, try to pick up the pieces and scooch over to the side that we won't get anyone run over. Everybody run a good race and uh, I'm so happy that everybody's here. Racer, are you ready? No. Huge nerd. 
What a big old nerd. Man. Bet he didn't even go to the GPS 180. What a huge nerd. What a big old freaking nerd. Oh man, you make me sick. <laughs> Has this happened to you? Are you a huge nerd who didn't go to the GPS 180? Or were you a Giga Chad who was too busy racing and brapping around the track and forgot to buy a shirt? Well, fret not, friends, because you too can get your very own GPS 180 commemorative t-shirt. These bad boys are available at www.gopowersports.com along with all of our other amazing merch. Whoa, cool, whoa. What an awesome shirt. I'm gonna go find someone else to take my parents' divorce out on. Thanks, Go Power Sports. Warning, will not make you less of a nerd. Coming up on five minutes left. Five minutes left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then, of course, we got Seth here. Come on down, Seth. Good job, Seth. Woo! Woo! There we go, man. All right. First place junior, DD Racy, rider Dylan. Good job, Good job, Good job, Dylan. Hey, man. Nice ride here. All right, let's go Hardtail next. In third place, Hardtail, we got. Jaden and Mike. Yeah. Yeah. All right, second place. Wow. R and R. All right. The the toughest dudes here. Number one on hardtail. Buffalo Bill. I hear my name. Number three for full suspension. My boy Slick Rick Watson. Yeah. Congratulations. Come on, Rick. Come on down, Slick Rick. Hey, you owe me a foot peg, man. <laughs> Second place. The Misfits. Get on down here, Mason Pittman and crew. Daniel Cooney, come on now. Hey, 
I just gotta say, big old shout out to Go Power Sports. Just if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been able to race this race, and we wouldn't have been so fast. So, yeah. All right, guys. So this is a doozy. This team won both first and full suspension, and overall, they had the fastest time, and they were the best full suspension bike. It goes to none other but my boy Bobby Hammond. Woo! You'll get two trophies, man. Come on, show, show us some things. Oh, yeah. Oh, Good job, guys. Let's go. Let's go. He also got the best rack on the track. I got it right here. Did you guys have a strategy going into this? Not, <laughs> not, not really. We just knew that we wanted to get a good start and, and uh, try to get ahead of as, ahead of many people as we could. Oh yeah, there's the some beginning. fast people out there. Yeah, there was a lot of good riders out today, and uh, they just got caught in pileups. I mean, I we both got caught in a couple different instances too, where you would just run into groups of people that were all tangled in with each other. <laughs> Who was the team that you were like starting? You were like, those are the guys. To be. Those are the ones I want to take on. The misfits. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cars and cameras fast. Isaac flew by me one time. I was like, uh, just go, I'm not catching you. <laughs> Isaac's fast. What would you say for next year? What, what would you like to see more of? I don't know, because this was awesome. I mean, I, I don't know what I would want to change, because it's, it's, it's a great race. It was, it was a lot of fun. I mean, the course, the course was put out perfectly. You know, there's a perfect amount of trails. You went some long stretches and the hill climbs. I mean, there's a good variety of all sorts of riding in there. And, um, and the rocks, the big rocks in there definitely threw you for a little bit of a loop. But, you know, <laughs> congratulations, guys. I appreciate you. did an awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys come back next oh, yeah. year. Yeah, we'll be back. Sure. Training champions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, try to, yeah. we'll try to hold that. How are you feeling right now? This is amazing. You Did you think you were going to place? Did you go in with a positive mindset? What did you, you expect out of this? It was a, a kind of a last minute build. Uh, worked till three in the morning, uh, fabbing up the bike yesterday. And then uh, once we got here after the road trip, we went ahead and put it all together and got it running. Weren't sure if we're gonna run this bike or another one, but uh, we got together, it felt good, so. Once we uh, saw the course, I knew he was just gonna kill it. Yeah, so we, we decided to send it on this one and. And really, the idea was just to not go too hard, but right. don't let down on it. So keep up it, and hold on. We ran through on one belt the whole way. So, really? Yeah, one oh, yeah. belt. That's awesome. The tire is completely flat, has a hole in it. So that whole last lap, <laughs> we ran with with just a flat tire. It was uh, fun though. First first race. Give me a rundown of your rig here. <clears throat> uh, it's just a standard BT aftermarket bars. These are five inches wider than normal. Okay. Uh, 420 CC Predator on there. Nothing done to it besides an intake and exhaust. Really? 30 series with a one inch driver. And a 72 inch, Whoa. or a 72 tooth rear sprocket. So really that's it, that's all you need, you know? All the that's, torque was there. Yeah, we have all that torque and plenty of power and the name of the game was just don't go too hard. That's, yeah, exactly. So did y'all enjoy your time around this time? You think you're gonna wanna come next year? Uh, we'll be oh back. yeah. We'll be back. Okay. We'll be a little more prepared. We'll have some rest instead of working through the night <laughs> yeah. getting the bike together. And all Hopefully that, it's so. warmer. And you know, uh, we got yeah, the winter that's... next to us over here and we kind of run in the same group there. So <laughs> we, Oklahoma's we, killing it. We may link up and just have a, a super team. Oh, you know? dang. <laughs> well, we appreciate it guys and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year and uh, anything you would like to see change as far as what we have going on right now? I don't know. No. We got food, we had everything we really needed, so cool. uh, nice track. I feel like I feel like that track is worn in a little bit better now. Oh too, man. So. From lap one to this last lap. Right, yeah. It, it, it totally changed and for the better really. So. I think so too. Thank y'all for having us out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Thanks. So thank you for everyone who came on out. We also want to say congratulations to all of our race winners. To anyone who was able to finish one lap or even 20 plus laps, you guys are true titans. And we want to invite you out to the third annual Go Power Sports 180 on November 11th, 2023 at the Go Power Sports Ranch. See you then.